When you come to a tractor show, you always hope you find a good tractor and we found a good tractor. Ed Good from right here in Pennsylvania. Tell us about this uh, yellow and white machine. Well, they're uh, pretty collectible tractors. They're pretty rare. Uh, they only built like 2,345 of them back in 74 or 75. And uh, a little hard to come by, but I was lucky enough that I got a few of them. So I restored a few and uh, I take them to different shows and I enjoy going to shows with them. So tell us about this particular machine. It's an International Cub Cadet. What year, what model? It's uh, 75 and I think it was built in uh, May, according to the serial numbers, what I have. It's just a good tractor and uh, I restored it this past winter. And it took me a while to do it, but I got her done and I'm enjoying the show. Now this is a Cub Cadet 800. What was special about the 800? Where did it fall in the international lineup? They, uh, they built uh, quite a few of these tractors using the same uh, frame and stuff. Uh, it's what they call the quiet line. And they wanted to get a little cheaper tractor, so they put in an eight horse collar. And uh, they tried to lower the price a little bit to uh, compete with some of the market and it was too much of a tractor for the horsepower, so it never took over. So too much tractor for the horsepower they put in under the hood, but uh, that kind of makes them pretty collectible these days. Yes, it does. Uh, as far as parts and stuff, you know, for the tractor, you can get all kinds of parts for them, but when it comes to the motor, well, they only built, you know, a little over 2,300, so it's rare for uh, motor parts to come by. They're hard to come by. And like a lot of Cub Cadets, this one had uh, plenty of attachments available. Tell us what you're uh, towing behind this one. It's an international uh, scraper blade. You can get a uh, scraper blade and a uh, yard rake that uh, fits right on the same attachment there. But uh, I was lucky enough to get the scraper blade, but I don't have the yard rake yet. And I'm looking for one of them. Maybe I'll find one. <laughs> Those scraper blades, you probably don't see too many of those around, do you? No, they don't. There's not too many around. It's a rare piece, too. And uh, I was just lucky to get one. <laughs> what is it about garden tractors generally and Cub Cadet uh, tractors in particular that you really like? What, what's fueling your fever for these machines? A few years back, well, many years back, I restored a, a 61 original. And I was at an auction and uh, I saw this Cub 800. And I thought it's a rare tractor. And I asked around about the tractor and stuff, and then I found out how rare they are. So I decided, you know, my 61 original has to go, and I'm going to make room for these 800s. And I started collecting them, and uh, I got a couple of them. So. And how many Cub Cadet 800s do you have these days, do you, do you figure? Uh, right now I have 18 of them. <laughs> and uh, I have... Uh, we can probably go home and all, there's 17 out of the 18 that we'll run and we can drive. There's one of them that I got at an auction without a motor in it. So of course that one there doesn't run, <laughs> but the rest, the rest all run. And what's your favorite thing about this Cub Cadet 800 with the scraper blade on it? What, what do you like the best about it? Uh, it's just uh, a rare piece that uh, thought we'd be good for the magazine and uh, calendar and stuff. and. So we decided to go with this one. I have some others, you know, that have uh, greater blades on, a corn planter and a trailer, but uh, we choose to take this one because it's all international equipment. And when you bring it to the show, the old time days show, what do people say when they see your 800s lined up? Well, uh, a lot of people say, I heard about you. No, I have so many of them and it's not too often that you hear that a guy has 18 of these uh, Cub 800s because they're so rare. And uh, I was keeping track of it for the last number of years from eBay and Greg's list and talking to friends. As far as I can tell it to this day, there are somewhere around 100 in existence that I am aware of, but I don't know everything. And you're about to corner the market, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess I do have the market cornered because I don't know anybody else that has 18 of them. All right, Ed. Thanks for sharing the story. Okay. <laughs> no problem.
Ed Good, he's got it bad for the Cub Cadet 800s, and that's pretty good. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you'd like to see more great garden tractors, be sure to check out these other features. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those Classic Tractor stories rolling.